stable, secure, affordable, window eyes. Welcome to another GW Micro How Do I Do That presentation. Today's presentation is going to talk about how to use the Microsoft Outlook calendar using Outlook 2010. The built-in calendar interface inside of Outlook is cumbersome to say the least. GW Micro recognized that there needed to be a much easier and definitely a more accessible way to be able to access all of the information inside of the Outlook calendar. So we came up with our own Outlook calendar interface. This interface makes the entire Outlook calendar completely accessible and very easy to use. I already have Outlook open on my machine. In order to access the calendar, the only thing I need to do is press a Window Eyes hotkey, which is Insert C. Insert C is in cat, so I'll press Insert C. Friday 2 10 2012 1 appointment by day P2 o'clock PM subject marketing team meeting list view 1 of 1. Dialog Window Eyes Outlook Calendar. Instantly, the Window Eyes Outlook Calendar dialog appears. It comes up with a list of my appointments. Currently, I only have one appointment this afternoon, and it tells me it's called a marketing team meeting. What if I wanted to find out details about that meeting? I can press Tab. Details L start Friday, February 10, 2012, 2 o'clock p.m. and 3 o'clock p.m. Duration 1 hour subject marketing team meeting reminder 15 minutes organizer student read only edit box. It tells me all of the information, even the organizer in this case is called student because that's what our computer is called here, of the actual meeting. If I had notes, they'd also be here. This dialog is capable of a lot of other things. For example, I can change the time span that I want to look at. So if I press tab, Time span day D radio button check one of six. I can choose between several options including day, work week, entire week, month, year, or I can even customize a range to be able to look at certain dates. This dialog is actually even capable in this particular area of doing things that Outlook itself can't do in the traditional Outlook calendar interface when not using the Window Eyes Outlook calendar dialog, making this a very powerful tool. I'll press tab again. Display show appointments a checkbox checked. You'll find several checkboxes here. One to show all of your appointments, so you could show them or not show them in the list. Tab again. Display show available times t checkbox unchecked. Show available times, so if you want to see how much time you have available on a day, you can easily be able to see that information. The next one is disabled. I can't tab to because I didn't set my view to work week or something higher. I can actually compact all of my appointments. So if I just want to look at my days, for example, I could see Monday, eight appointments, or Tuesday, four appointments, and be able to see how many appointments I have on that day without having to check out each appointment individually. The next few items you'll hear are buttons that are going to affect the way that the items in the list are listed. Previous lead button. So this is dependent on time span. My time span is set today. I could look at the previous day, current R button, current day, next next button, or the next day. If I had this set to month, for example, they'd be previous month, current month, or next month. Making navigation to find out information of what your schedule is going to be like. Very simple. If I keep tabbing, new add button. Here's a new open O button. An open button. If I press enter on the new button, it would open up the traditional Outlook interface to add a new appointment. If I press enter on open, it would open up this message in the traditional Outlook interface, which is very accessible and easy to use. If I keep going here by pressing tab, delete e button, I can delete appointments. If I tab again, close button, I can close and once more it's going to take me back to the list. Friday 2 10 20, 12, 1 appointment by day P2 o'clock PM subject marketing team meeting list view 1 of 1. So as you can see, this dialog is really easy to use and makes the entire Outlook Calendar Accessible, another great and very powerful feature of Window Eyes. Something else that's really unique is I can open up this dialog anytime I want as long as Microsoft Outlook is running. So for example, I'll press Escape to close the dialog. List box. Red attachment from Drew Markley subject message for training with Iner. And I pressed Control to silence that. I'm going to open up a website. So I'm going to open up the run dialog with a Microsoft keystroke, Windows key R. Open O combo edit box. And dialog uh, run. Type in an address here. Double, 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 period, G, double, M, I, C, R, O, period, C, O, M. Enter. HTTP, w, 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 dot, G, w, micro, dot, com, 
41 links, 2 on clicks, 11 headings, links, skip. I'll press control to silence that, but what I've done is I've opened up Internet Explorer and suppose that I'm down arrowing through the page. Maybe I find a date that I want to be able to see if I'm available to attend a training event or some other piece of information that I want to see if my schedule is open to be able to attend that particular thing. I can simply press Insert C. Friday 2 10 20 12 1 appointment by day P2 o'clock PM subject marketing team meeting list view 1 of 1. Dialog window eyes outlook calendar. And that window eyes outlook calendar just immediately popped up wherever I'm at as long as outlook is open. And if you need a reminder about having outlook open, I'll press escape here to get out of the calendar. Welcome to GW. My control to silence that, and I'll alt tab back over to outlook. Inbox student training GW micro com Microsoft outlook. I press control to silence that. I'm going to do an alt F4 to close Outlook. Welcome to GW Micro Windows Internet. Silence that again. Let's see if we can open up the calendar now. So insert C. Microsoft Outlook must be running to use the Outlook calendar. So Window Eyes makes it very easy to figure out when you can use this calendar and when you can't. But as long as you've got Outlook open, you can press Insert C anywhere you are and you've got full, complete, and immediate access to the entire Outlook calendar anytime you want, all because of the power of window eyes. Thanks for joining us for another How Do I Do That presentation from GW Micro. For any technical support questions, you can contact our technical support department at support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at gwmicro.com or call technical support at 260-489-3671. Stable, secure, affordable, window eyes.